Yo, people. Hello, hello. I am. Uh, it is currently Saturday uh, in September. I am still very, very stoned. <laughs> Last night, after um, the Ender's campaign, I uh, and Wolf were hanging out, having a good time. Both of us took some um, edibles, and it is legal here in the uh, U.S. Uh, in Washington specifically. Um, and we both smoked a little bit and I and then passed out. I am still somewhat stoned. <laughs> so we are gonna do a little bit of a series today. Um, so we're gonna do a new game. We are still working on the, uh, there's a specific achievement we've been working towards for a while. And if I remember right, well there's two. Hear Me Roar, which is um, definitely one of the achievements I have been trying to get for quite a while. Um, which is the whole egg hatching thing. Uh, it's one of the, and then, you know, there's some, a few minor ones like Queening, Infinite Creation, uh, Last Best Hope, um, Outside Context, and Stay on Target, Pandora's World, uh, Inscrutable Power, Dust Off, Raiders of the Lost Galatron, um, and there's a few others. But the biggest one has always been Sick Semper Tyrannus. I want to lead a rebellion that successfully disposes, deposes the Galactic Emperor. So that's the achievement we're going to still be going for today. Oh, man. Now, the new Lemmy update, Lem update came out, which did a new change up to the Plantoids. It also made them a lot more vibrant, in my opinion, and a lot of people are working on them. Um, however, I'm not going to do that today. Today we're going to play a simple human race, so we're going to actually be called humans. Um, and there is a reason, and you're going to find out later. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and look through this. Um, I always like, personally, the SPQR. Oh man, my nose is stuffed up, I apologize. Um, so that is definitely the one I'm going to go with. And as far as it goes, so... I want to kind of look around, but before we pick all of our traits, I want to actually pick our origin, which is the most important. Now, the new origin that I've look, been looking at is Clone Army. So, a species of short-lived and infertile soldier clones exceptionally proficient in matters of war, left uh, masterless and alone to question their engin uh, engineered purpose and uncertain fate. Start with two ancient clone vets building on your homeworld, producing clone soldiers, pops, uh, ancient clone vats have empire limit of five and clone army admirals will grant an additional 25% ship fire rate and 10% reduced ship upkeep so we're gonna go with that for our origin and with that in mind there's a few things we can't do so we get clone soldiers <laughs> uh, which means our leaders get minus 40 lifespan um, governing ethics attractions plus 50% and army damage is 50%. So, I know I'm not the first to do this, I'm definitely not gonna be the last, but um, it is something I wanted to do. So, for our first trait, um, we're gonna go adaptive. Uh, we are gonna go with um, sedentary, because there's no reason for us to be moving around. And then probably, um, let's do solitary for more housing usage because that's fine. And then the trait I want to get outside of that is very strong, which means we need to take one more trait. Um, we could do that. Uh, we could do the workers. Uh, but I think, honestly, deviant because we already get that 50% boost. I'm not really worried about everything else. And with very strong, we're going to have an army damage that is huge. No one will be able to stand up to our army. We're gonna go with a continental world. So the idea here is that these humans, they are what is left of the great war that happened e eons ago amongst the fallen empires. And we are the, we were a minor species from the planet of Oros in the star Savant. Um, it was the last planet to be conquered and we, uh, when the empire fell apart um, and we were all that was left. So we are here to rebuild um, and be peaceful types so we're gonna go militarist focused of course um i think uh authoritarian definitely would be nice and i do definitely want to go um we could go xenophobic 
um, for the enslavement. It does make everyone hate me more, um, and we can only use our own species at that point. But we get a higher growth, and I like that idea. Um, so I'm going to say oligarchy, because it's going to be fun around the idea that we are a military group. Um, so that is going to be the idea. Um, so soldiers also produce an extra two unity, is definitely one of my preferred favorites. And I think distinguished admirality will also be good. So basically our military is going to be really strong early on. And I want to see how this build does. So I'm going to do the human citizen compact. I like that. For our flag, we are going to go with something that looks more unity-like. Uh, or unification. Uh, you know what? I like this idea. And we're going to do instead a something like that. But we're going to choose blue with a light blue line. And it's supposed to symbolize the waters and the ocean. So I like that idea. Actually, in fact, let's do primary color as brown. It'll be like the earth green actually it'll be the earth with the blue ocean splitting the empire apart so we are no longer together uh we're gonna do a female ruler we're gonna do sure that works for the name um a phenotype let's see let's just go that room we're gonna make this look more technical like yep Hairstyle, um, I like the buzz cut, so let's go with that to make it look more uniform, and I like the uniform, but let's see. Let's go with that, because it looks more clone-like. So we are going to be playing basically clones. Um, we're going to play a huge map, uh, overall, really large ring empire. We'll put, we'll leave, yeah, f mm, five sounds good. Fallen empires are maxed, Marauder empires are maxed, everything else is fine. 2500 is pretty good and victory year end is great grand admiral is fine i haven't really played um this so we'll see where we're at but this will be the new series going up on youtube um i will be doing uh, 15 minute episodes of this series every week um until basically we finish the campaign because we are also going to go for um where's the achievement name uh it's in here somewhere it's like winning or something like that uh, oh, I actually already have one. I, ha I have gotten victorious. I didn't realize I had. <laughs> Apparently I did in another series, but that's fine. So yes, this is what we're playing. We're going to play a massive ring, and we're going to see how far we get. So let's start with research. I always go for the research boosts um, in the newer version. Uh, let's get two for the naval capacity, even though it's really far out there. Um, and let's get that energy grid first before anything else. So we are also, while we're here, going to continue. No, nope, uh, we'll start with surveying this and then we'll just hold shift and survey the system. Um, and then from there, we'll work on other systems. We are eventually going to have to make another science ship pretty quickly, but that's okay. So let's speed up and we start the game. Now, I do always record everything because, especially for those new players who are just getting into Solaris, um, I like to make sure you guys kind of see what I'm doing, how I'm playing, what I'm running, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's we're going to try and go with that. Construction complete. Thank you. Uh, we also, so we do have two ancient clone vats, um, which give us plus seven to organic pop uh, building, which is good because we're going to definitely need it. Um, on our capital planet, I'm going to say that one of the big things we're going to try and focus down is trying to build more housing, because um, we're definitely going to need it pretty quickly. And we do already have a 90% there, which is good. Let's get this little extra engineering research. And now a lot of people will go in and adjust their ships. You can do that. Personally, I never do, but I'm also weird in how I like to play. Um... Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Still haven't gotten the achievement to do a early war. Um, I'm going to probably do a small series on that because it will only be probably like an episode or two um, when I do it. Oh, we already have our science ship, so let's get him going. Uh, we'll definitely take the research speed. Um, they are only 16, so that is good to know. So your job is to go here and then survey here. 
We want to get as ma much controlled under us as possible um, early on, in my opinion. So, just the habitable worlds, that's fine. So, you are now doing a full research of the entire system. Cap. So, for our pop, we are assembling pop really quickly, and we are going to only be assembling pop for our people here as time goes on. Uh, we are needing more food and more jobs, but we don't have enough yet for resources to build that, so hopefully we can do it here in a minute. Because we definitely are going to need this pretty quickly. Thankfully, housing shouldn't be too much of a problem later on. And we've already regained um, all the alloys we were looking for. One of the things I will do, and I'm kind of curious to see how this build performs, because one of the big things here is that we can only construct pops. Um, so that's going to be kind of an interesting idea on how we do things. I am curious to see what it looks like at the end star of it. System we did get that star system charted, so and we are building that house there, or that farm there, so that should take care of um, the unemployment. So this will be kind of interesting as time goes on, because we will have, we are going xenophobic, so we won't have population outright unless we, you know, enslave them. So we're only going to get so much housing here. And I will probably um, have to adjust that. Here's the other new thing with Stellaris. They have now set it up to where you have to select this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is definitely go militaristically. We're going to go supremacy because we need the boost in military. Especially if we get stuck next to an, uh, an AI empire Stars. that is advanced. Um, that is going to be a bit more difficult for us. So you're building that, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna... Ooh, shit. Where are they? Okay, so what are you? You're Holy Guardians. So as long as I don't take over any territory that you consider part of your area... Or, uh, part of the holy planets. We are good. <laughs> There's also a ruined science nexus, which is an amazing find. That will be a huge boon. So right now, yeah, we're going to leave these cloning vats on, um, just for the time being. Um, because we do want to get them up and moving. Um, because we want a huge population pretty early on our capital planet. Um, we need to build quickly. Um, we do actually need some housing here, but we don't have enough minerals, so we're going to buy some minerals early on, um, and I'm going to build a house here to get another construction slot so I can start putting down um, a precinct, because that will help. We don't, ha we don't start with a precinct unlike others, so that's why I'm like, yep, we need to. Uh, let's survey over here. And once he's done building that, we will expand up to Jebin's Maelstrom. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, let's go ahead and. Situation. Oh, we found something interesting. Cool. Oh man, now, sorry if my nose sounds stuffy. I kind of passed out hardcore last night, and so my uh, whole body is like, oh. We did find these guys, so there Stop. is interesting there. Okay. Now we have two choices here. We can go over here or over here. So I'm going to choose to go down here. And then we'll probably create another um, science ship for there here in a minute. But we are going to take this because I want that science nexus pretty early. Now, is my species not adaptive? We are. So we do get a 10% boost. Okay. But until we get cloning vats, we're kind of stuck, which is going to be unfortunate. So we're going to build there because I want those resources. Okay. Um, it looks like all of this is, can be ours, so we are going to kind of close this off and then we'll research into here. Um, we're going to try and block this off because we want to put some padding between us and the capital um, for our territories, definitely, in my opinion. But that will be the end of that episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one.